General Abdul Aziz Abdullah Al Ansari, Qatar Security Chief, said about the World Cup You want to demonstrate your view about the LGBTQ situation? Demonstrate it in a society where it will be accepted. That's good, but don't really come in and insult the whole society because of this. You cannot change the religion for 28 days of World Cup. The Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging and fun. Download it today. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> In this video we'll be talking about topics of an adult nature, it is not suitable for minors. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. In Islam there is no such thing as forced conversions as you guys can see from this verse of the Quran of chapter 2 verse 256. But liberalism on the other hand it seems they do not follow this particular school of thought and for the uninitiated liberalism is the ideology behind LGBT. Now what makes me say this? Yeah because if you look at what the LGBT lobby is actually doing. One example, your country's funds will be affected if you have an issue with LGBT. Here you can see another article where they are affecting BBC, Ofcom, governments and my favorite one which is foreign aid. Yeah foreign aid will be withheld. Yeah if you don't adopt LGBT mate your people can starve. That's right and who's saying this? Some puny little country in the east? No the USA. Now this is very interesting because when it comes to da'wah which is propagating Islam or when it comes to teaching your young kids about Islam. We're told why are you forcing them mate? Let them choose, let them be free. This is oppression. Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> okay then no problem. Yeah we let them do whatever they want. Let them be free. What now? Well they go out and about and they're going to adopt what society is adopting. And what has society adopted here in the West? Liberalism. And then it's full circle again when you see liberal values being forced by Ofsted in schools, by governments and by lobby groups. So as you can see there's no such thing as absolute freedom. Yeah, Either you're enslaved to God, the all-wise, the all-powerful, the all-knower and seer or you are slave to society, its values are whether it's communism, capitalism, liberalism, whatever ism and schism that's man-made and that changes from time to time based upon the sensibilities of let's, let's, let's be frank. Yeah the people who's come up with liberalism? Yeah do you see any people of color there? Did they consult with the rest of the world? No, it was done by the white man. And here is the goal of this lobby. Yeah, let's just take the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom there are discussions being had as to whether <laughs> females have a penis or not. Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party is refusing to answer mate. Another Labour MP goes, yes some women can have penises. And on the other hand you see Boris Johnson who is not making conversion therapy for the T in LGBT, he's not outlawing it and because of that he has frustrated the LGBT lobby. And then further he says that biological males should not participate in female events. This again is infuriating them. So you can see even amongst the two main parties in the UK there is no consensus. And because of this lack of direction you've got some people identifying as dogs and you've got some people that are in prison for harming other people identifying as babies. It does remind me of this verse very well where Allah says and be not like those who forgot Allah so he made them forget themselves. And if you look at society that has gone far away from God it's literally embodied Nietzsche's statement that God is dead. So you can see people pinning their hopes on relationships, they're pinning their hopes on their sexual identity, they're pinning their hopes on their jobs, whatever the case may be. So bearing all this in mind we know that the World Cup is happening in Qatar yeah <laughs> and the English captain Harry Kane is saying look they should be allowed 
to have LGBT flags while we're playing the game. W why? I don't understand. And then look at this headline, England players to use platform at Qatar World Cup to highlight issues. In other words, they'll be preaching their doctrine. Yeah, they'll be giving dawah. I mean, you're only in that country for 28 days. What is this mentality that wherever we go, we feel the need to give our ideals to people? You got another one, Lewis Hamilton, who's trying to do the same thing in Saudi. They don't believe the same thing as you. Even you don't believe the same thing as you. So it was really great to hear that Qatar has finally mustered up some courage to put their foot down and go, look, this is your thing and that's fine. This is our thing. This is actually, he wants to express his view about something. This is not the place to press, you know. So it's just like the political flags when he comes here. Don't really get us involved in this political flag. If someone's waving an LGBT flag about, they can get injured, they can get hurt. And here's the kicker, we don't want them to get hurt. They believe what they want to believe, they can come, they can travel. However, waving a flag can cause issues. I am really going to really take it to really insult him, but to protect him. Which seems pretty reasonable. So the Muslim countries that are heading towards liberalism, this is something you have to look forward to as well. Yeah, if this is what you really want to go to, then expect this as well. May Allah give us the ability to understand these matters and be able to articulate them and not compromise on our faith. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. Assalamu alaikum.